So, I mean, lived experience in a nutshell is those people who have had their life significantly derailed and changed because of their experiences of poor mental health in any way, shape or form. Yeah. So people often talk about the hierarchy of lived experience, which is like if you've had these extreme experiences like being locked up in Glenside or being put in seclusion or, um, or if you've had particular diagnoses, people kind of put that in the hierarchy of those are extreme experiences and then those maybe they had depression or anxiety that don't count as lived experience. But I don't believe that that's the case. I think if you are open enough to say something significant happened in my life to derail the track that I was on, that's enough lived experience for mm -hmm. me. And I think we often feel that we need to explain what that is, like we have to put a diagnosis to it, or we have to think we've had experiences significant enough to, to count in lived experience. But sometimes it's better to to leave that bit yeah. as as private, you know, it's enough. Uh, and 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 I'm very open about mine. And depending on what the who the audience is, sometimes it's a really good way of um, giving that power of contact. Which means that if you see someone who's very accomplished that you may look up to or has some some things that you admire about them, and you learn about that first. And then you hear that they've had these extreme experiences that otherwise you might associate negatively with, then that breaks down the stereotypes and mm. discrimination associated